Hey y'all. So I went to a restaurant yesterday. As soon as I walked in, the guy started asking me, ma'am, do you want a to-go box or do you want to eat in? So I was like, I'm gonna get some food to go. So I get the to-go box. But when I got to the, the bar, I was like, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I was plant because I was supposed to be on my uh, weight loss journey, right? So I was gonna get some cabbage, some plantains, and I was gonna get some rasta pops, and I was gonna leave. But then I got in there, and my eyes got bigger than my head, and I went ahead and got some chicken chicken curry. So I fixed my plate and the lady was watching me. So I sat down and I started eating and she's like, are you going to uh, do the all you can eat? And I was like, yeah. So I'm eating, sitting there, just relaxing, chilling or whatever. And uh, this, this guy came up to me and he said, ma'am, I told you I'm like, what? And I'm like, I was going to eat out of the plate. I didn't go back for seconds. I was eating out of that one box. He said, you cannot eat out of to, to go box and you have to eat out of a regular plate. And I was like, okay. But I said, it's all you can eat, right? And he, and he was like, yeah, but you can't eat out of a to go box. And I was like, Okay, so the lady came and got the plate, kind of like dumped it in a regular plate. And so in my mind, I was thinking about, okay, eat what you want to eat, right? Eat it while it's hot. And then what I usually do is take a plate to go so I can eat it tomorrow because I don't really, I don't cook. So I do like meal prep. I'll get a, while I'm out, that day, I'll get a little extra for the next day. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what was going on in my head. But um, she dumped the plate out from the styrofoam to a regular plate. And so I was going to eat it, but then I was like, I don't even like the way it tastes. So I pushed it in front of me and went and got another plate. And I got corn and uh, some pasta. But I was sitting there, and it, I guess I looked crazy because I started smiling. I was like, should I get some more plates and put it on this table? Since they made a big deal out of it. They was acting like I was going, like, they was acting like I was going to steal some food for, for, for one thing. And they was, I was like, whatever I decided I wanted to do. Cause I had my little coach purse, so it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that little uh, to go box was gonna fit in my purse. They was kind of acting like I was stealing food, going to steal some food, but I was just sitting there eating off of one plate. So the guy's like, "Are you okay, ma'am?" I guess they could see my face because I was like, "What?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." But I was in my head trying to decide what I'm gonna do because this is, you know, what I'm saying. So I just sat there. And after I ate the last, well, I had like three more pieces of corn and some more rasa pasta and I left. That's what happened yesterday. So I've been to this restaurant several times before. The guy who was acting stupid, he kind of like flirted with me before. So I don't know if he was too comfortable with me or I got too comfortable with him. Because I had to, you know how you have to just sit back and think about something? Because I went in there before and... I got like three plates. I got, um, what you call it? I got one was curry, a pl curry plate. I got one with a uh, jerk fried chicken plate. And then another one was the oxtail plate. And I sat down, this is a different day. I sat there and ate. And then whatever I had left over, I could eat it the next day. But I kind of wanted to sample everything. But you know how to, so the way it, it works is, if you are going to eat there, you can eat all you can eat, but you can't eat the oxtails. 
you can only eat curry and you can't eat goat. They have rules, right? And so if if it's an all you can eat plate place, why you just can't eat all you can eat? Whatever you want to eat. But no, they got rules. So anyway, I didn't care about that. And they weigh your uh, oxtails. And you know, oxtail is mostly bone. The corn is bone. So uh, uh, like 50% of that stuff they weigh is discardable. But, and they almost make it like it's uh, $50 a plate. No. If you eat in, all you can eat is $14 a plate. And then the, that day I got the three plates, it was like $50. But my thing is, whatever I decide to do, I can afford it. It's not like it was Ruth Chris. They was treating me like I didn't have any money. But I did come from the gym and I, my, head, my head was tied up. And I was like, but he's seen me before. He know who I was. I drive a 2023 car. And I always give them American Express. So why is he tripping about what I decide? If my, my, if my food had came up to like say $200, I would have paid for it. It's not like I was trying to leave with food, but they was treating me like I was stealing food. Then I only got one plate, so I didn't overeat. You know, they was treating me like the, a hurry up and buy type of situation. And after I came home and thought about it, you know, you know what? I didn't cut up. I didn't act silly because they were Jamaican men. The dude was taller than me. And he was flirting with me one day and he the, the, he was a cashier. And I was like, do you, you own the place? Because I'm trying to figure out why he flirting with me. But anyway, because my life, I'm not going to be with somebody who I got to watch struggling. I kind of want to be with somebody on my own level. So you have to ask the right questions. I noticed that in my lifetime. <clears throat> but anyway... He gon' that's the one that says, ma'am, I told you. I'm like, oh, what? And then, but I didn't say that to him. I was like, I just gave him my American Express. It wasn't like I couldn't afford to pay for the food. It's not like I hadn't paid $50 before for plates. It's like, whatever I feel like doing, that's what I'm going to do. But yesterday it was a problem. And it got on my nerve so bad. But I was sitting here to be realistic with myself. I was like, you're not going to go to China King and um, get to go box and start eating there. But the last time I went to China King, I wasted so much food. I kept going to the um, to the buffet and getting whatever. And if it didn't taste right, I was like, I don't really want that. Set it aside. They'll come get the plate and nothing. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even bother me. But these black people gonna hurry up and buy me yesterday so i decided i'm not going back there again and it's it's been it this happened yesterday and i was like i didn't want to put anything like negative on my page but it, reality is it ain't all roses every day and you have to think through a situation and not overreact not you know throw a tantrum and that's like where i'm at now like i i didn't get smart with him i just gave the american express it wasn't no back talk you know it wasn't no police call nothing like that but they they, they was acting like it was a, a a big deal though that's what pissed me off they was acting like it was such a big deal that i sat down to eat even though i paid them several times before even though i have american express even though i'm driving a 2023 you know what I'm saying? Like, why are you guys acting like I'm about to steal some food? Like, and then my little purse wasn't about what wasn't big as the uh, to go box, so it wasn't like I was just gonna walk out. I mean, they really acted an ass yesterday. They did, and I guess when I think about it. If, okay, but in this, if, this is why I'm not going back too. Because when I first went in there, when, when you when there is a um, when there is a uh, all you can eat, it kind of makes you glutton, right? And I've been having a, a problem with my weight, and I had been going to the Mexican place, and I was getting like the black bean tray, 
trying to eat healthy, but I had ate black beans for like a week. It was black beans, rice, lettuce. It was like a, a veggie bowl, right? I had did that for like a week. And I was like, I ate so much of that. I was like, I don't want no more black beans. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go to this uh Jamaican place, but I'm not going to get any meat. I'm going to just get cabbage, plantains, and some pasta. No meat. And then as soon as I walk in there, man, it's cheaper if you, if you do the, uh, you know, I was like, dang, he kind of got in my head really. And I was like, let me go ahead and eat. Cause I, it was, the food was looking good, but they just made it simple for me because I'm not going down there anymore. And I hope I feel better. Cause I'm they, they kind of pissed me off. A lot. Because you, when you walk in the door, you have to wash your hands. And then immediately there's this guy who's, who's yakking at you. And I kind of feel like, to be fair, because I ask myself, there are, it's like three Jamaican restaurants down there. And this is kind of like a new restaurant. And they are kind of like trying to figure it out. Like, you know, but the way they was acting and talked to me, I can't, am I going back in there? But not with him talking about some, uh, I told you over some food that I could afford. Mm -mm. He got me messed up. I don't know what he, you know, but anyway, I didn't act out of character. I went, I didn't, the food they touched, I didn't eat that. Cause if, when they, when they came out, when they came to my um table, all of a sudden the food didn't taste that good no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm always like this food bus and it's so good. And the cabbage, I was like, oh, I'm not going to eat that cabbage. So I went back and got some corn and the corn was okay. And I'm tasting like, does this feel good or not? Am I true? And then I ate the pasta and I was like, Let me just go. After I sat there for a while, I was like, let me just go and think about this. And the more I think about it, I'm like, mm -mm. I don't want them thinking that. I don't know what they was thinking. But I n never try. I'm like too old, like 200 and something pounds, but I ain't got to steal no food. And I've paid them several times and been in there several times. So I don't understand what the little uh, acting like. But I kind of, I kind of see that. I, I see honestly that I should have whatever it was. They wanted me to prepay. Now they wanted me if you going if you're going to sit here and eat. To be honest, you got to prepay. So when he came to my table, I handed him the credit card, but it was like, I kind of changed. You understand what I'm saying? I changed my mind about, uh, the carry out in the process of me getting the carry out, but I wasn't, I wasn't trying to leave with any food or anything like that. But anyway, those people came to my table. You know how I, I'm just like replaying it over in my head and my head is like, am I tripping? But I'm not. So I decided I'm not going back there before. And I'm not going there anymore. And for anybody who has a restaurant and you have like your regulars or whatever, or you start changing your rules, don't know. Everybody grown. Like I said, I could afford the food. Don't be acting like You can like, like, I don't know. Don't be acting like people stealing food. You know what I'm saying? If you don't really want a all you can eat buffet, don't have an all you can eat buffet. And like, I only had one plate. It, it's not like I was going up there like two or three times. I sat down to eat and I was watching TV and they came and said, start talking to me.
But anyway, that's all I had to say to, to today. And I want to use my um. I wanted to use my new machine too. But anyways, have a good day.